my first games in 2004, I was the youngest rider ever to compete at a games. I was 16 and I was just taken for experience and just to have fun and really, really relish in the atmosphere with the beauty then going on to win medals uh, in years after. But because I went and my experience was just no pressure, I actually came back with a bronze medal. So that was amazing. Everyone cried <laughs> and it really changed my life, you know. I saw all these disabled people for the first time. They were just getting on with life and laughing and joking about it. And age 16, I thought, yes, I want to be like that. So it really brought myself out. I was really shy and quite self-conscious about my disability before then. But afterwards, I became who I am today. Winning a medal in Athens really gave me a taste of what I could achieve. And after that, obviously, I wanted to win gold. So the championships after Athens, that was my aim. 2008 was a completely different game for me. You know, I'd been to Athens. I knew then that I could come back with the Paralympic gold medal. And I was studying at Royal Holloway and actually the term time worked out really well for me that I could study during my second year, be selected for Beijing and then have the summer to really get my head down and train. So it worked out really well for me balancing study and sport because I think if you do one thing to such a high intensity it can really affect you psychologically. So I used to go training when studying and reading textbooks was getting a bit boring and then I went back to study to kind of forget about training and the goals I have of, of winning gold medals. So that worked out really well for me. The two, two Paralympics were so different, you know, when winning my bronze medal was so unexpected. But going into Beijing, I knew what to do, I knew I had a job and I went there and did it. So winning my first Paralympic gold was an awesome experience, but at the end of the day I knew I could do it. So it is quite a hard emotion to put into words, like fulfilling your lifelong dream, but also knowing that you were capable of it. London would be just the pinnacle of the Paralympics. And I actually found it really hard during the um, summer of 2012 being selected because all my friends and family expected me to be selected to win gold and that really put pressure on me. I was so desperate to be selected that actually my performances were getting worse and the thing that really 
changed my mindset is that I was talking at a conference at Royal Holloway in April 2012 and on the same bill there was an Olympic diver called Liam T Taylor and he offered to help mentor me through 2012 and he said to me, you know, why did you start sport in the first place? And I was like, well, to have fun. And he said, well, it doesn't really look like you're having fun at the moment. And he was right. The instant I put a smile back on my, my face, started having fun again. The pressures just drifted away and my results started rocketing again. And without ha finding someone who really understood what I was going through, I doubt I would have even been selected for London, let alone win three gold medals. <laughs>